says here in this love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sin. See, he is our substitute. There's only one way that could ever be made, and it was through the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, because of our sin, there's judgment coming. As sure as we are here, and as sure as we see birth, as sure as we see death, the Bible tells us it is appointed unto man once to die. But after this, the judgment. You see, we're going in into eternity. It's because of our sin. And because of sin, we have an enemy. And the enemy is death. There's always a payday someday with God. And it says, for the wages of sin is death. Judgment is just lurking around the corner for each and every one. But it's only for those really that rejects Christ. You know, I am not under judgment anymore. One time in my life, under the judgment of God, under the condemnation of God's wrath. But tonight, I am saved. Because I have accepted Christ as my Savior. We have looked there that God has given us a gift even in spite of our sin. I'd like to tell you tonight that it is free to all. Why when we think of God's salvation, this gift, it's free. My, isn't that a wonderful thing? You know when you get a gift? I am very insult to the person that gives you the gift. If you say, well, I'll take the gift, but I, I, I need to pay for it. You know what that is? That would be an insult to the intelligence of man, to the person, the person that searched at the gift, the per person that purchased the gift, Giving you the gift and you say, I gotta pay for it. It's something I don't do. Someone gives me a gift. I take it. But God in his word says there's nobody left out. God is not selective over people. He is there to seek and to save that which is lost. My friend tonight, you are lost in your sin. You need to have this gift. And it is free. My friend, I can't understand. You know, when we think about the gospel, we think about God giving this free gift. Men don't want it. But there are those that accept the gift. It's free to all. He said there's no cost. There's no cost to you. You can't pay for it. You can't work for it. There's no way that you can merit it anyway. Now let me tell you, it cost God everything that he had. You know, heaven was empty. I was very, very finest. God's will, beloved Son, came into this world and he was upon this earth. And upon this earth, men hated him. He spat in his face. They cursed him. They hated him. And yet, God in his love said, this gift is free. Yet he still ate in him. But if that was all, when we think of what man can do, we think of the Lord Jesus Christ taken up on the cross, nails in his hands and his feet. And up on that cross, he shed his blood. It cost God his son. 
And there are people around that I have money my own self. I have one son, and I wouldn't give up for the best of this earth, nor would I give him for the scum of this earth. No, but what God has done, He has given His Son for sinners. My friend, that's you on me. And He gives us a free invitation. He says it's free. You know, when we think of the Word of God, there's a verse in the scripture that says, Come now, let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Notice the first couple words that we said, where the Lord has said, He said, Come now, and let us reason together said the Lord. He wants to reason with us. And people cannot pay for this free gift. The story is told about a man and the story goes like this, that he wanted to get to heaven. But he knew about his sin. The person told him, he said, well, what you got to do he said, you see this cathedral? He said, you walk up all these steps. And he said, you walk up on your hands and your knees. And then you crawl up. When you get to each one, you say a prayer. And he, he said, okay. So he'd start doing it. He went up a hundred steps. He went up over another hundred. And that, by that time, his knees were bleeding. The steps were all stone. His knees were bleeding. His hands were bleeding. And he said, my, he said, this is awful. And then the verse came to his mind that he heard not too long ago. And he heard this verse, for by grace are ye saved through faith. And not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. He said, what am I doing this for? God's gift is free. 